everyone welcome back to another video and by the end of this video if you have any debt you will have a plan to get out of that debt and be trading full time if you enjoy this content make sure to go and hit that subscribe button let me know if there's any kind of topics that you want me to cover in the future as well and just because this is a kind of a debt um a debt slash trading related video i thought i would say that i am not a professional um you know i don't have any financial background so this is my opinion this is through my own experiences and i am not advising you to do any of this this video is for students mainly but for basically anyone that has debt so there's a few kind of aspects to this the first aspect is asking yourself a few questions and then the second aspect is actually doing the plan that i'll be going through just after these questions so the first question is do you have a job so if you're a student just out of university do you have a job if you don't have a job then i would probably say don't go into trading um, focus on getting that job first and then go into trading after that after all of your expenses do you have any kind of money or excess money that you can play around with because again if not then i would probably say focus on that first and then go into trading afterwards next one is what are your interests so what's the interest rate on your student loans or your debt and then the follow-up question to that is do you think you would be able to beat that interest rate every single year consistently if the answer to that is no which i would say the majority of people can't um then i would say don't do trading right now practice and build up your actual trading to where you can do that consistently let's just say you went ahead with trading anyway you've ignored all those questions you don't have a job you don't have excess money and your interest rate is seven or eight percent a year I would personally do 70% going into my debts, 30% going into my trading. Once the debt is gone, I would then put all of it into trading or do some other investments. Whilst you're doing that 70%, if you can consistently beat the interest rate on your debt, then I would stop that 70% and go 100% into the trading. And then the profits that you make from your trading, put that into paying off your debts. So now you know kind of the dis distribution of profits and money that you're going to be doing. You now need to actually get into the trading. If you don't have a strategy, there's loads of them online. You can pick one. It doesn't really matter what kind of strategy you pick as long as it works for your psychology. The next one is you need to have patience. Okay, this is going to be a long term game. You have debt. You probably don't have um, excess money. So this is going to be a very, very long game. I would probably say seven to ten years okay before you're full-time trading unless you have a lot of money or know people that have a lot of money so as long as you're beating that interest rate i would say continue with what you're doing in terms of the trading if you're not beating that interest rate then i would say completely stop trading pull the money into the debt get rid of that debt now there's obviously good debt and there's bad debt student loans is bad debt just because I'm saying debt, what I mean is bad debt. Um, there's lots and lots of good debt out there. You can go and learn about that yourself. All I'm saying when I say debt is bad debt. I'm not referring to good debt. So I hope you've kind of found a little bit of value in this video. I know that it wasn't a very long video, um, but you know I don't want to be. Um, I don't want to be giving you almost advice. I want to be giving you questions to ask yourself and tasks to do. Um, I don't want to be giving you advice because it is very, very personal to you. And we would be here all day if I was going to go through every single situation uh, with how much debt you've got, how much interest rate, how much uh, income you have, how much expenses you have. Do you have a family? Do you not have a family? Um, do you have a mortgage? Do you not have a mortgage? Do you have a car? Do you not have a car? All these things. Every single one takes a little bit of a different approach and we would be here all day. So what I'm saying is, 
ask yourself a few questions, do some research, be sensible, don't think that trading is a get rich quick thing. Thank you to everyone that supports the channel um, on Patreon and on YouTube. Again, I'm not home yet, I will be actually tomorrow when this when this video is going live. Um, so yeah, I'll be back then, I can update it. But yeah, thank you to everyone that is supporting the channel, it really, really does mean a lot. And remember traders, trade happy.